And um, that's a pretty you know, compelling segue to uh, how I want to uh, close the show, as a lot of you may know, um, that uh, I was not around for the last couple of weeks. I was traveling and had the privilege of uh, being in the Middle East. And there's a lot that goes uh, through your mind when you uh, leave the United States and you travel overseas, whether you're going to Europe or Africa or the Middle East or Asia. Um, you miss the United States uh, and you realize you know what an amazing place uh, it is that we all live in but you also realize I think when you travel just how big this world is and how many different cultures there are and languages and traditions and that there are a lot of people who are quite happy around the world with their own ways of doing things uh, and may not necessarily subscribe to the way that we do things in the United States but I always find it so enriching uh, to have an opportunity to see another culture or to talk with people who have a different perspective or to learn another language or to talk about you know, global events with people who don't necessarily have our perspective but have a slightly different one. And this is a sort of long way of, of saying that, you know, in this program we like to tell people about ways that you can take action to influence your community and, and, and your country. And I would also say that that extends to the ability to influence our world, that if you have an opportunity to travel, if you, if you don't have a passport and you have an opportunity to get one and to go overseas, it's such a remarkable experience and it gives you such a new sort of perspective. And I think it also contributes to our sort of greater humanity when we meet people who are different from ourselves, who grew up quite differently from the way that we did, uh, whose language is, is different from ours. And I know that you know for a lot of people who are sort of my age who got kids or or you know people who are a little bit older it's not as easy to travel as when you're you know when you're younger and in your 20s but you know if you're a parent um as I'm lucky enough to to be soon you know one of the things that I, I hope you will pass on to your kids is a reminder that the world is a big place and if you can get your kid in college to go spend a semester overseas or to take a year off and go to work in you know for the peace corps two years or whatever it is that not only will you be enriching that family member of yours not only will they benefit but all of us all of us in the united states all of us who love our country will benefit because as we have an ability to sort of better understand people overseas and as they get more opportunities to understand us and to interact with us it makes you know it makes our sort of relationship it makes you know the world a better place. And I know that's such a cliche and it sounds so cheesy, but the fact of the matter is you ask anybody who has spent a semester abroad or a year abroad or has had the opportunity to live overseas, and many times they come back to the United States with just as much of a passion and love for the United States as they had before, but it's a sort of deeper understanding both of our nation but also of the globe and how we fit into it and what we all can do to try to make this uh, globe that we all share uh, a better place. And so. You know, with that, I just you know, encourage people, remember, there are all sorts of different ways to take action. You can listen to our show. You can contact your member of Congress. You can go to a city council meeting. You can participate in a local school board. Maybe you also want to learn about uh, a, a foreign country or read a newspaper that's, you know, from overseas and, and learn about some of these things that are happening around the planet. Uh, and then talk to your friends and talk to your neighbors about them. And, and again, every time that we all have opportunities as human beings to realize just how sort of large this planet is and how unique our own perspective is compared to other folks and that, you know what, a lot of people with different life experiences may have different perspectives. Just having that understanding makes um, will benefit all of us, will benefit our communities, will benefit our families, will benefit our nation, and will benefit our world. So get those passports out, go travel, and I, I wish everybody listening to this program had the same opportunity that I've had over the past couple of weeks to particularly go to the Middle East, such a fascinating part of the world. Sh Schuster, is, Schuster, were you on a, an SBI, a CIA mission? What, what country was it? Can you I, tell us? I just yet. I, I, you know, we'll talk about that another <laughs> <laughs> another time. But let's just say it was an it was an interesting place. It was an ally of the United States. We'll leave it that way. Ooh, well, ooh, that, well that, that's certainly in the Middle East. That, that can narrow it down. <laughs> It covers a lot. But anyway, uh, uh, Danny Marin's a great job hosting the last couple of weeks. Uh, you're, you're doing really well in the host chair. We all appreciate it. And a special thanks to everybody who uh, put up with all our uh, numerous uh, technical problems at the beginning of this show. We will try to work on them and get them solved by next week. 
I say, you know, live radio is not always very easy. And when you've got uh, guests and hosts in different cities and you're trying to do things over Skype and you're trying to match all the different wires and connections, sometimes things go haywire. And that's why we have multiple people on the show who can do multiple tasks. So hats off to you, Daniel Marins, for a great job again. I wouldn't and be able to do it without, without Daniel Gilday, who helped usher us in at the beginning, and Pete Johnny Deb Callahan, who, you know, he's truly the Jack Sparrow of... of radio, TV, internet broadcast. And I would just add, you know, we, we do our own little kind of exposure into not somewhat foreign worlds for some folks in that we're here in Anacostia in a neighborhood of DC that most folks don't visit often. And that's just as important too. And that is exploring other parts of your own country and your own culture. Well said. On behalf of Daniel Marins, Pete Callahan, Daniel Gilday, Alan Rosenblatt, Ben Barnett, Keith Atkinson, Charlie Mitchell, Alex Lawson, Cliff Schechter, and a special thanks to Kimon Freeman for setting up that amazing interview we had with Mumia Abu-Jamal. Thanks to everybody, part of We Act Radio and Take Action News. I'm David Schuster. Folks, you can always catch us on podcast or on YouTube, Take Action News TV. And in the meantime, we will see you here right back on We Act Radio next week. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks for being part of the program. <laughs>